For the muzzle, we're going to be using our white yarn and the 4.5 millimeter hook. And we're going to start by doing a slip knot and then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For round one, we're going to start in the second chain from the hook and do one single crochet. And we're going to follow that with five single crochet. So there's one, two, three. four and five. In this last stitch here we're going to do three single crochet into that one stitch. There's one, two, and three. We're going to follow that along the other side of our chain with five more single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll finish our round with two single crochet in that very last stitch. There's one and two. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 16 stitches going all the way around. For round two, we're going to start by doing one increase in this first stitch. And then we'll do five single crochet. One, two, three, four and five. And now we're going to do an increase in the next three stitches. So there's one increase. Two and three. And now we'll do five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we will finish the round with two more increases. So there's one and two. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 22 stitches. For round three, we're going to start with one single crochet in that first stitch. We're going to do an increase in the next stitch. And we're going to do five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we'll do an increase followed by four single crochet. One, two, three, four. And do another increase. And then five single crochet. Three, four, five. And then another increase. And then three single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 
26 stitches. For round four, we're going to do a repeating sequence beginning with one single crochet followed by one increase and then we're going to do seven single crochet three four five six and seven Follow that with one increase, and then we'll do one single crochet, and then two increases. So there's one and two. And now we're going to repeat that sequence again. So we'll start with one single crochet one increase, seven single crochet, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we'll do an increase, one single crochet, and we'll finish off with two more increases. So there's one and two. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 34 stitches. For rounds five and six, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you have completed rounds five and six, you should still have a total of 34 stitches. For round seven, we're going to begin with two single crochet, followed by one increase, And then 10 single crochet, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're going to do one increase two single crochet and one more increase and then we're going to repeat that sequence for the remainder of the row so two single crochet one increase ten single crochet Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do one increase, two single crochet, and finish off with one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 40 stitches. Round eight, we're going to begin with two single crochet, one increase, and then do 12 single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then we're going to do one increase. followed by three single crochet, two and three, and then one increase. And then we're going to repeat that sequence the rest of the way around. So we'll start with two single crochet, one increase, Then 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Do one increase, then three single crochet, and then our last stitch will be one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 46 stitches. For round nine, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you have finished this round, you should still have a total of 46 stitches. Once you've reached the end of round nine, you'll remove your stitch marker and slip stitch into the next two stitches and then tie off. Make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing it onto the head. So leave this nice long tail for sewing and then you'll weave this tail in. And there is the muzzle. To attach the muzzle to the body, we're going to put some stuffing in here. I'm just going to have to squish it in and kind of hold it in place. And we're going to put this so the seam is going side to side. We're going to line the top of the muzzle up with the bottom of the eyes. And so you want to make sure that you've got your sides evenly spaced. They'll go just about even with the outside border of the eyes. And then we're just going to stitch this on just like we did with the, the other ones. So you'll take your yarn needle, go under a stitch in the body, Pull it through and then go under a stitch in the muzzle. And you're going to follow that same line up to about even with the bottom of the eyes. So now we're going to go under the next stitch and then through the stitch in the muzzle. And you'll just keep doing that all the way around. Kind of hold it in place while you sew it on. And then before you close this up completely, you can add more stuffing to it to completely fill it out. So just keep going under a stitch in the body and then a stitch in the muzzle. And here I'm coming up to my last stitch. I went ahead and added some more stuffing into here to give it a rounder shape. 
and then the nose will go right up here at the top of the muzzle. So once you're done, you'll just go ahead and tie off. And then take your yarn needle and tuck that tail into the head and snip it off. And there we have the muzzle. The face is starting to take shape. Next will be the nose.